well. So we've got Beatrice Turner, is a sustainability influencer. She's with us now. So Beatrice, we talk about sustainability in the fashion industry, but it seems most people just want fast fashion. Yes, uh, yeah. I think the main concern and the main thing we need to focus on making fashion more sustainably, uh, sustainable is our shopping habits and how much we think we need uh, clothes, how many clothes we need, the trends we need to follow. Um, is, are, are, do they really exist or was there something created by the fast fashion industry to make us consume more? And is online uh, fashion worse than on the high street? Because we've got pictures there of the uh, high street and cities, but you know, there's been a 30% drop in sales on uh, the high street as less people uh, are going into the big cities. So is it just the ease of the internet? Is that what it is? Why is it that we're buying so much and throwaway clothes? Yeah, I feel like uh, when you're online uh, and brands make so easy for you to buy and send it back if it doesn't fit and they keep bombarding you with newsletters and the latest trends that you need as well as social media with so many influencers making polls and talk about their new clothes and how we have this culture still that we cannot repeat an outfit uh, because it's so easy to buy and because we think we will return those clothes if we're not going to wear it, but in reality we just keep them anyway because they're so cheap uh, and they end up being thrown away or to the charity shop. Um, yes, I, I guess if we came back to our habits of going to a shop and trying it on, see if you're actually going to wear it and, and how those clothes feel on, uh, on you, maybe we'll buy less than we are doing it right now. But it's very tempting, isn't it, for people who, you know, the fashion turnover usually led by something on Instagram, you know, uh, you know, someone famous wears something very expensive and then others will go out, boohoo and others and say, well, how can we do that at a fraction of the price? And you can look like the person you admire. <laughs> and it's out there. They go and buy it for, say, a tenner or a fiver. And within a week, there's another person wearing something and it's out there. And, you know, the problem is, is there's a price for this, isn't it? Because when you're buying yes. clothes so cheaply, we know that Boohoo, in terms of its supply chain, had people not being paid the national minimum wage, all sorts of practices going on. And that's just what's made in this country, let alone in some of the sweatshops overseas. Yes, that's it. The only way of producing fashion this quickly and this cheaply is if we have a very exploitive supply chain. And that goes from who produces the fabric and the way it's shipped from country to country to be made, which creates a huge impact on carbon uh, emissions to start off, even before the clothes are made. Uh, and we don't know how they're being made and then don't know who is making them, what conditions, uh, are the factories uh but it came when we found out about the um, modern slavery ways they were being produced in leicester i think it became much more real to the uk public uh and i think that then now we woke up and we're like yeah a t-shirt shouldn't cost three pounds it takes more to to make a t-shirt someone is being hugely exploited in the way for me to pay this price for something how are we going to change the views of people then? So whether they've seen a picture on Instagram, whether it's a, the cost that it's three pound, and yet some of these people will be saying, I want to save the planet, I want to be an environmentalist, but at the same time, they write down uh, buying a T-shirt for three quid or buying something uh, online. I mean, how are people themselves going to address, I guess, their hypocrisies or their desires? I mean, what are we going to do? You know, what, what do you recommend or think is going to happen, Beatrice? Well, I was a huge fashion victim. Uh, <laughs> I, I did. When I moved from the countryside in Brazil to the UK, I was amazed by the high street. And I bought as much as I could, spend all my money on that. Uh, and now what I do, I still love fashion and I still think it plays a big part of my personality. Uh, so the first thing I always do is look secondhand. There's so much new stuff with tag that is only a season old, but a season on fast fashion now is a week length. 
So uh, you have very trendy things secondhand. So I mostly buy secondhand. I've been doing a uh, rental, uh, a good try, and I've been for, for events or something more important. Uh, instead of buying that one dress that you're gonna wear once, um, we, you can rent it and that can be used several times by other people and you don't feel like you're repeating the same clothes you still have that bus of the new clothes that you get to wear um so i think we just need to try different things and just break with this cycle that the fast fashion created well look beatrice turner thank you very much indeed for your time this morning